Hey, this is Devin. Uh, here to do another deck profile. I'm doing my Chaos Anti-Meta deck this time. And, um, well, it hasn't been running as well as I thought it would. So I decided to do a deck profile and see what you guys thought of it. Maybe help me out a bit with it. Okay, so, first monsters. I run one DD Warrior Lady. It's good for... You know, when a monster attacks, just banish your monster and that monster, and they're pretty screwed. Especially if it's one of their best monsters. Chaos Sorcerer, it's good for banishing monsters. For banishing monsters when you get it to the field. I got a Grave Squirmer, so when it gets destroyed, you can take out one of their cards as well. Oops. Uh, I got a Necro Gardener. It's good for negating a tackle on the grave. I normally combo that with Foolish Burial or something. I run one Dark Geroid because when summoned a monster it loses 800 points. Sand Gan because it's good for searching out the deck. I run Mobius the Frost Monarch because it's good for destroying two cards in their back row. I run a Chaos because it's good for removing cards on the field and if it's a dark monster then doing a thousand damage. I run one Grand Mole, we only allowed one, and it's good for just bouncing back Synchro Monsters and XZ's Monsters and cards that they spend a while trying to get to the field. Uh, I run one Gale, because you only allowed one, and it's good for cutting the mo their monsters down to size, so like let's say they have a Blue Eyes or something, you can cut down to 1500 and have the uh, Monarch take it out. I run Zaborg, the Thunder Monarch, it's good for destroying a monster. I run Doom Caliber Knight because that's just an original anti meta card. Unfortunately, its effect isn't mandatory. It is mandatory. I run one Grave Gravekeeper Spy because it's good for defense. I might put another one in. I run one Cyber Dragon because it's good for special summoning when you have nothing. I run one Chaos or one Card Trooper. It's good for milling the deck and getting uh, Necro Gardener in there and boosting his attack points and drawing. I run one DD Crow to like stop them from targeting cards with cards such as Monster Reborn or Call of the Haunted. I run one Ryko the Ryko Lights One Hunter. So what that does is it when it's flipped, it destroys one monster. It would destroy one card in the field and I mill the top three cards of my deck. I run one new Doria, since when it's destroyed it destroys an opponent's monster opponent one monster. I run one Break of the Magical Warrior, another classic anti meta card right there. When it's summoned, it gets a counter, giving it 300 attack points more, and then remove that and destroy a spell trap on the field. Now for spells, I run one Swords, one Fisher. Swords is good for stalling, Fisher's good for destroying their weak level monsters, their weak, weaker monsters like Tuners. I run one Book of Moon for canceling out attacks. I run a hammer shot for taking out their stronger monsters. I run in a lure to um help get cards into my hand. I run a smashing ground, good for destroying their high level defense like Defender or Millennium Shield. Those are just two examples of high level defense monsters. I run an enemy controller for switching the monster to defense mode and stopping their attack. I run a big bang shot to switch monster to defense mode. I run or to do piercing. I run a hand destruction. It's good for dropping cards and then starting up again. I run a part of avarice, so it's good to just get a fresh start sometimes. I run one heavy to get rid of all the spells and traps in the field. I run one corridor and it works well from with cards that are special from the deck like Apprentice Magician and uh, other cards that are special from the deck. I run a Fool's Burial because it's good comboed with Necro Guard now. And now for traps, I run one Compulse, I run one Magic Cylinder, uh, Compulse is good for, you know, stopping them in their tracks, Magic Cylinder is good for bouncing their attack back at them. I run one Drastic Drop Off, so that whenever they add cards from their decks in their hand, so like when they're searching something out, Drastic Drop Off forces them to drop it. I use Starlight Road to negate and destroy card effects uh, that would destroy. So like Heavy Storm, Dark Hole, Mirror Force, you know, the good staples there. 
crevice into their different dimension. It's basically like a trap version of DD Crow, except you have to set it first. And so, if there's two monsters with the same attribute, you can declare that attribute and then banish two cards. So, I also have Threatening Roar, preventing them from attacking. Dark Bribe, negating a card effect like Mirror Force or Heavy or something, allowing them to draw. And then I run one negate attack for nullifying their attacks. And yeah, it's the whole deck. And it just doesn't run as well as I thought it would. But that's probably because it, I don't have all the necessary components for it. So, yeah, that might be it. I'm thinking that's why it is, though. I'm just going to put in another Gravekeeper Spy. Because I think I might need to. Well, yeah, I'll just get right on putting on a kind of sleeve. I don't know where I put my sleeve down here. and put in so now it's not totally pointless. Maybe that might help it run smoother. Uh, anyway, yeah, that's all I got for the Chaos Anti-Meta deck. I seriously need help with this deck, so if you have any ideas whatsoever, just let me know, and I'll consider it. So, yeah. Thanks. Later.